All right, welcome back. We are looking at Loopring on the 45 minute time frame. So a couple things I do want to go over right now. So first things first is the shorter or more immediate time frame, at least where we are looking at right here. This does look like you potentially have a falling wedge forming right here, which if that is the case, then all we really necessarily need to see here is some type of break of structure. And then we theoretically would be able to break out from there should we end up getting a breakout from there it still would be looking heavily on that red box that we have which is a range of 1891 to 1879 from that point on we do want to see at least a daily open and closure that is above 1944 to yeah at above 1944 breaking past that prior high and then from that point on you could be looking for these other areas that i have marked over here but more importantly, if you are able to do so, and then we really are able to start breaking back towards the upside, you do potentially have this macro wedge uh, that we have formed uh, to play out, which would be sending us back up very, very high to have at least 100% move from here, which is at about like 38 cents, which is cash money if you are holding a loop ring. Now, if you are wondering from last video, if you noticed that I added something, at least right here, these two green lines, first one being at about 1672, second one being at 1657. Why is that? Let's switch over to the four hour time frame here really quickly. So for our time frame, you can see the lower green line, that's actually the current low that we have. And well, you don't wanna break that. And then the upper green line, right where my cursor is at now, on the 45 minute time frame, that was your like second lowest level or wick, meaning um, like, the bottom one was the actual low and then there was one wick that it the candle opened above where that low was because once again it was just a wick and then it ended up coming back on down and then moving reversing higher so that's what that second one is so i figured i'd just mention that but um ultimately if you are going to have this type of like momentum shift over here now is really the time within the next like week i would say if you don't see it within the next week, most likely you are going to be heading back on down and you most likely end up breaking this low. Most importantly as well that we have to take into consideration like we've been talking about is that white line at 1741. We do not like being below here. That is your macro support level. Do not like to see being below here. Now, since it is, of course, a macro support, it doesn't mean that you necessarily are going to bounce clean off of it always. And that also does mean if you were to consider how fake outs work, fake outs normally break up those like clean levels, but it's also to mislead and be deceptive. So if we we're looking at a shorter time frame, it could spend like a couple minutes up there and then ultimately end up reversing. Yes. Okay, great. So when it's, you're talking about a macro support or macro time frame and such, it could be like a couple days and then it ultimately ends up reversing. So just to keep that in mind. But like I said, we do need to see some type of change of structure here. So um, finally, if you were to end up breaking back on down, you would be firstly looking for really 1539, 1536. Following from there, you'd be looking for 1505 to 1478. Uh, otherwise, what I necessarily think is playing out right now is I do very well think this smaller wedge, which I guess I could just highlight this this smaller wedge could ultimately end up playing out right here. But I need to see us get at least up to like 1760. I, I, I Looking at the daily time frame, I need to see 1760. And then even from that point, I would like to see it continue pushing higher, which would get us back on up. And then, like I said, red box, breakout, measured move. What do you know? That gets us right up into the area that we talked about. So. Other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions, and you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.